Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers who are dealing with a Taurus. This is going to be helpful for you as well. Uh, before I kick this reading off, please subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. I love seeing my little YouTube family grow, so please feel free to be a part of it. If you are after a private reading, you know where to find me. My email is listed below. Uh, please inquire and I can send you through all the booking details. Um, so thanks for being here. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for my Taurians watching. <clears throat> okay, there's a person from the past that's definitely still hurting um, and definitely still hovering around you. You've come up as the Hierophant, so um, that's a very powerful energy for you, Taurus. <clears throat> okay, the Hierophant and the Emperor. I'm getting that you will need to confront your past, <clears throat> a past issue or a past person. It could even be a past trauma, but it's something that still lingers and still feels quite... It keeps coming up. It's coming up in your subconscious, Taurus through dreams, through flashbacks. It's almost like there's something you keep thinking about and you're very drawn to it. You've either rejected this or you will reject it. Now, a past, we've got a Scorpio, Aries and Taurus. So one of these signs could come forward here um, and they carry an offer or an opportunity. There's a reason why the past is coming back for you. And I feel like it's a confrontation either to deal with the, pa the past or confront the past. I feel like this is something you've put off for quite some time with the Two of Swords. Um, and I get like it's a no contact. It could be like an ex's energy that's coming forward. This ex is still not over you. They're still very hurt. Um, it could be someone you were married to or you were once married to, but you had big plans with this person, I can see. You wanted the whole nine yards with each other. What happened, Taurus? You know, you wanted the kids, you wanted the marriage, or you had all of that together. You had that life. And then it just, it fell apart. And I feel like there's little pieces, there's bits and pieces that you're still dealing with. So this past is somehow going to use your family to get to you. Um, like siblings, they might contact your siblings through social media. They might message your mum or dad. I mean, if you don't share a family with this person and you don't have kids, then I think they're, they're sort of trying to get to you through your family. It could be that this person kind of wants your pity. They might not be in a good place and they're really missing you. The death card can be sort of like nostalgic energy, <clears throat> as can the moon. There's also transformation tied into this somehow. Um, but the death card is literally going towards you. <clears throat> this past is, it's not something you will do, Taurus. It's something that a person will do for you, meaning the past is coming back to you. It's not you going back to them. This person is popping up in your life. This energy, this opportunity from the past is resurfacing here. Um, but I get it's a very tender situation. So I get you have to tread lightly around this. Um, I feel like there's a lot of residual feelings tied into this. And there's a lot of pent up energy that's still living with you and living with this person at the same time. I feel like you've, for the most part, you have moved on from this, Taurus. You've been doing better. You've been doing, you've been doing well. You've been working on yourself. And I feel like there's a lot of success coming to you as a Hierophant, I feel like there could be a promotion or an upgrade or there's someone new that wants to marry you that's coming in. Um, there's someone in your orbit which is coming up as the Emperor. They're around your family or your friends. They're, it's someone, I feel like the Emperor is very much like you. This person is very similar to you. And you're both on a very similar path. You won't both want the same things. I don't think this is the ex, though. I think this is a new person. You haven't met them yet, so you're yet to meet them. This is the month that holds the key to this. But I feel like it's around people that you know or work with or see in the community. 
this is the key to that person and they're going to introduce you and this person is going to be your two very strong individuals and I'm sensing it's kind of a power couple thing happening here starting off as the power couple or building an empire together somehow it's like you're on individual paths but these paths are like parallel and the people in your life are going to bring the two of you together somehow but it could also be the confrontation I get that someone's coming back because they could be demanding answers or closure. Someone's demanding answers or closure. They're still not over the situation. I feel like you've both tried to heal in your own separate ways. Now, I mean, I do feel like this is two different energies coming forward, though. So there's a different kind of communication. Let's see, though. What is the communication for you? What does this person or this energy want to say to you? Okay. So, like I said, it's someone that's been on a healing journey. But there's regret. There's a lot of regret. And it's someone who's obviously betrayed you. We've got the Ten of Swords. Betrayal could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, double swords with the Two of Swords. Maybe a Gemini here that has lied to you before or has shown a different side of them to you. Okay, this person, you haven't really spoken about feelings with them, but they'll want to do that. It's been, it's been a while. I get that things are maybe awkward between the both of you. It could be that this person is coming back because it's a part of their healing journey and them getting closure from you or sort of understanding why things didn't fall apart. It's a part of their journey. Um, I feel like it's more, yeah, it's more that. That's what's driving the past to come back in. Um, there's still feelings there. It's clear that there's still feelings there and there's regret. So this, this person has had a lot of time to sort of reflect on things that happened between the both of you. Um, and I, I get dwelling. The word that comes to mind is dwelling. So I feel like this person is still dwelling on the mistakes um, or dwelling on the what ifs. You know how we do that when we break up and, and we disconnect and we're like, if I had only done this or if I hadn't said that or if only I had done this sooner, like we live through these what ifs and that's what I think this person is going through. Maybe to some extent you are as well, but it's someone that wasn't sincere. I get an insincere energy, but it's almost like they had to learn the lesson with you, but they didn't want you to be a lesson. They wanted... They wanted everything with you, Taurus. They still do. They still do, but they're too hurt to admit it. Or they're fearful the same thing may happen again. I get that someone may be trying to prove to you that they've changed. But you are you are in a league of your own, Taurus. You're coming up as the higher offense. So my inkling is that you are manifesting a lot in your life but you've manifested this past opportunity to come back so there's obviously something that you've done something in your vibration that has reattracted this past energy um let's see what this is okay we've got the knight of cups so there's an offer of love, potentially from a water sign or someone that still loves you. We've got the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Strong fire energy coming through. I mean, you did have the Aries. Okay. Again, this, this notion of twins. Strong Gemini. Okay. 
the ace of wands i mean there i kind of get i'm kind of manifesting a third party situation here for you so i do see like this emperor and the past is two different energies either way love is being offered to you with the knight of cups or to sort of mend things emotionally it's an opportunity for you to heal as well though taurus so you need to take it you need to see it from that light too it's not just them it's not just for their benefit it's also for yours there could be a moving situation that you're also manifesting, like a different scenery, a different, a new person. Um, I see you being on the move. There may be a travel opportunity connected somehow through work or through leisure. Um, I see you on the physical move as the Six of Wands as well as on the move. So could it be that this person from the past is moving elsewhere and they want to see you? Maybe. Um Something about a movement or a relocation is tied into this. But interesting, she's got her eyes on the cup. So the offer is on the table, but she's not holding it. She's just looking at it. She's thinking about it. Okay, I see you potentially thinking about an offer that's going to be made to you. Um, the balls in your court, Taurus, is, is what I'm getting. Um, I don't see necessarily a huge amount of action being taken towards love, but I feel like opportunities are starting to swell more than they were before. And I see you thinking a lot. So you've got a lot of thinking to do. Um, thinking, processing, reflecting. Because there's there's going to be a lot for you to think about and process. I'm seeing like a wave of information that's coming to you that you know you're just going to be sort of shocked to hear and like oh wow this happened and they want this and you know it's it, it's going to happen fairly quickly um or it's all going to unfold fairly quickly and it's something that yeah you're going to have to sort of decide on and live through the emperor could be someone who's helping you though there might be someone who is trusted mature older could be a parent or a good a very good friend who's trying to help you through this maybe so th maybe these are connected somehow this person from the past and this emperor they're somehow connected but it's for your benefit here taurus so very interesting month for you but i'm going to wrap it up there thank you everyone so so much for being here and we're going to catch up soon so much love all the best and bye for now.